Do you experience knee pain on the back of your knee? Have you been told that your knee pain is because of a bacus cyst that sits on the back of your knee? Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to share with you three treatment strategies that we use to help our patients overcome their knee pain on the back of their knees as a result of a bacus cyst. So here at my physio, we see lots of patients who come in complaining of knee pain. Some patients experience knee pain on the back of their knee, and of those, some of them have a bacus cyst that is contributing to that knee pain. So what is a bacus cyst, you wonder? Basically, that is a collection of fluid that sits in a pocket here at the back of your knee. The cause of it is multiple. It could include having arthritis in your knee joint. It could be a result of a trauma or injury when you fell over or you sprained your knee during your sports or activity. It could be because of damage of the cartilage within your knee joint. And for some people, a bacus cyst just happens because of no reason at all that they could actually recall. And finally, you could have swelling inside your knee collect into a bacus cyst because of infection that's happening within your knee joint. Now, regardless of what the cause is, if you have a bacus cyst, it basically can be a swelling that sits on the back of your knee that takes up a lot of space within your knee joint, causing you pain because it limits your movement and you find that you have pain when you bend your knee or when you straighten your knee and you could actually see a swelling on the back of your knee. Three things we do to help our patients overcome that Baker cyst and knee pain is the first thing we do is we check all the muscles and ligaments around the knee. Very often there's muscle tightness that is pulling from the muscles above the knee joint and below the knee joint from your calf muscles. All that muscle tightness and tenderness that inserts into that knee joint with your tendons will contribute to your knee pain as well as the swelling of your bacon cyst within your knee joint. What we do to reduce all the inflammation in the tendon and the muscle tightness is we use radio shockwave therapy. We find it very, very effective to reduce the inflammation and reduce the swelling even within your baker's cyst in the back of your knee. So we would treat all the muscles above and below as well as target the baker's cyst right inside your knee joint using radio shockwave therapy. The second treatment strategy is we say to our patients, you need to reduce that swelling. So you reduce the swelling by using ice at home what we do here is we would use K-tape. We literally make a taping pattern across your knee to lift the skin up and reduce the swelling and encourage that inflammation and swelling around the area to disperse. So our patients actually have that swelling go down much faster because we use K-tape and they ice at home regularly. The third strategy that you have is we certainly do encourage that you keep your knee joint mobile. So, you know, we will guide you on exercises that will keep your knee joint moving so that you don't end up more stiff and painful if you're not moving. We also advise our patients about activity pacing because you don't want to be not doing anything, but then you also don't want to overdo it with strenuous activities. So we would avoid any sort of jumping, running, heavy impact activities. If you are doing some sports, we have to perhaps stop that for a while and allow your knee to recover. So if you're out there and you're struggling with knee pain at the back of your knee and you have a big assist, what you should do is to ring us here at My Favorite Physio, speak to one of our expert physiotherapists. The number to ring is 02 4233 and if you know somebody out there who is struggling with knee pain and they're complaining about swelling at the back of their knee, they may well have a big assist. What you should do is to like and share this video with them. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.